Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video. Today, we got the new Top Chrome Star Wars 2024, but the blaster version. I opened up a hobby box on the channel, but went to Target for some toothpaste, came back with some cards. It's just how it goes sometimes, to be honest with you. Not sometimes, every time. But I yeah, decided to pick it up. I think it was $30. I think it was, I think it was at $30. So not terrible. You get, what are you getting here? You get, where are the odds at? Okay, eight packs per box, five cards per pack. So 40 total cards. I have no idea what to expect from this. Uh, I don't know if you're guaranteed any numbered cards. I don't even know if you can get super factors in here, to be honest with you. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're just going to open it up. And one thing that I didn't know from when I opened up the hobby box is that there's actually, I guess, rookie cards, but they, they're they debut cards. So I guess it says it right there. Look for the first Chrome base cards of a new Star Wars character featuring their debut medallion. So if it has the debut medallion, it's technically a rookie card, which is interesting. So I'm not really sure. I'm assuming it would be from the newer movies, but... I am not sure. We're just going to get right into it. I guess we're looking for anything at this point. Ooh, we got the Mandalorian. That is sick. So we got the Mandalorian. We got Carson Teva. We got the Client. Django Fett. That's sick. And we have a Palpatine. We got a Rise of Palpatine. Visor to Queen Amidala. And we have a Luke Skywalker on a... I guess this is a Red Refractor. These are the... I think it has, says it on here, right? It says four refractor parallels cards guaranteed per box. So I guess this is one. I mean, I can, one of the better characters, I've, I think. Luke Scarwork. What movie is this from? A New Hope. So, yeah. I mean, not bad for a refractor in the first pack. So, next pack here. Let me know down below if you guys have opened this up before. Like I said, I've opened up a hobby box. But decided to pick this up. We got Luke to go with Luke there. That's nice. We got Haja Estri. This guy was in Marvel Eternals, I believe. I think definitely steroided up for sure. We got Padme Amidala. You love to see it. And we have a refractor of 8D8. Looks like C3PO. Kind of not really, but from the book of Boba Fett. Interesting. Next pack. What was I saying? I don't even know what I was saying, to be honest with you, but we have R5D4, Lieda Mothma, Ranzar Malk, Ezra Bridger, we got a C-3PO on the Rebel Alliance, and we have another perfect, perfect to go with Luke Skywalker. I mean, that's just beautiful. you love to see it. Two of the better characters to get for dropping shit everywhere. God damn it. What the? All right, next back. Next back here. Next back here. Maybe we can get a number card. That'd be huge. But we got Elia Kane. We got Cad Bane. We got Finn there, the Stormtrooper shoot. We have a... Keller and Beck. I don't know what insert this is, to be honest with you, but what, what is, what's the name of this insert? Galite? Gal Galactic? Galactic Gear? I think. Galactic Gear Short. And we got a Kit Fisto. Jedi. Attack of the Clones. I don't know why, but when I looked at this card, it instantly brought back a nos something nostalgic. I don't know if you guys remember... I don't even know, maybe mid 2000s, late 2000, late 2000s, mid uh, early 2010s, they used to have these Star Wars figures. They were small and they would come in packs of two where you can get a, a, a play, a combo pack or whatever. But just remember that I used to collect them as a kid and they used to be so fun to play with. I'll see if I can throw a picture of up on the screen. Let me know if you guys have played with those before. I used to love playing with those as a kid. I don't know why I just looked at the card and I immediately thought of that. I don't know why, but... I think maybe because I used to have a Kit Fisto, but we have a B2 Emo, Dedra Miro, Cassian Andor. Didn't he just get a TV show? Didn't Isn't Andor a movie? Yeah, Andor. I think it's a movie or a show. I'm not sure. We have Han Solo. And we have another Rise of Palpatine. Padme. Dude. Dude. Three classic Star Wars characters on the Red Refractors. You just love to see it. You love to see it. I can't ask for more. I might PC that Padme Amidala. I might put that in the PC. I, ha I ended up packing, I think out of 199, out of 199 from the hobby box of Padme, decided to keep it. So, Mace Windu, there we go. 
And we have a surreal corn on the refractor. So we got two packs left, not a numbered card yet. So maybe we can get one here. I'm not sure, but frack, we're still guaranteed one of the red refractors as well. So we got Qui-Gon Jin. There we go. We got Rise of Palpatine. And then we have all right. So this this ended the streak of getting getting OG characters, but that's all right. We got Ezra Bridger. Where are they from? Star Wars Rebels. I think that's a movie. I'd assume that well, it might be a show. I'm not sure. Final pack here. Maybe we can get a numbered card. Who knows? There was a debut. I don't even know if I've seen any before. I don't even know if I got any of this box before. But we got a debut card of Corillian Hound. We got Commissioner Hellgate. Kuiquil. Nian Num. And we have a silver debut of Balin Skull. So that is the box. I honestly can't complain, to be honest with you. We got a Padme Amidala, Luke Skywalker, and Jango Fett. I mean, that's a that's a pretty darn good solid combo for Red Refractor. You can't complain with that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned till next video. Bye.